What up, positive souls? It's your girl, Tierra Simone, and I'm back at it again with another video. Yes, y'all. I'm so excited to be on this camera right now, okay? I'm thinking I should try to change the settings of this. Wait a minute. Hold on. All right, I hope that settings is a little bit better. But what up, y'all? Your girl is back. And I'm back at it again with another video, okay? And I got a new little special video today. Something I don't usually do. Something I haven't done in years, okay? Years. As y'all see by the title before you clicked on this video, your girl got a makeup haul y'all now you know me you know i don't do makeup i don't wear makeup um at all anymore i used to wear makeup a long time ago a couple years ago um and i just recently just had the urge to buy makeup and just kind of experiment kind of practice on myself um i just want to step into like my more feminine ways to be honest i'd be bored okay you know, working from home, you know, you just got ain't got crap to do most of the time. But um, I'm, I also want to get into the makeup because I am, I don't want to say too much without saying too much, but I am working on a few things behind the scenes. I'm not going to mention just yet, but just know that this requires me to do makeup. But anyways... I'm not the type of female to be doing the extra makeup with the contour and this and that and that and the dirt. I ain't doing all that, okay? I might put a little foundation on, eyelashes, some little eyeshadow here and there, whatever the, whatever the case may be. But I'm not going to be stepping into that much because I like, I, I am a more natural person. I like a, a more natural look. I don't want to look too dramatic. So everything I got is like something that's very subtle. All right, but I got a lot of things over here. Um, I have multiple places. I have Ulta Beauty, I have Walmart, and TJ Maxx in Burlington. Um, we're gonna start off with the Ulta bag. The first thing I got from Ulta Beauty is this um brush pack. See, I sound so crazy. Like I, I feel like I don't sound like I know what I'm talking about. And to be honest. I don't, you know, I know makeup, um, a minimum amount of makeup. I don't know the extra stuff, but I do know a little something, something, but bear with me. But I got this Real Techniques um, brush kit. It come with a foundation sponge. It come with a foundation brush, some other brushes. Um... All right, we're going to do this. Okay, so I got Real Technique brush kit, okay? It comes with a few brushes and a sponge. It comes with a um, foundation brush, eyeshadow brush, highlighter, concealer brush, and um, a blush brush. This is what it is right here, okay? I used Real Techniques before, and this is a, it's a pretty good brand. The next thing that I got is another Real Techniques brush kit. Um, this one has like your everyday eye um, essentials. It has um, like brushes for eyeshadow, eyeliner, and mascara. It also has a little um, eyebrow comb. This is what it looks like right here. Very cute. I got the little purple going on. Um, the next thing I got is another Real Techniques um, disposable dual end spoolies. And a spoolie is for like your eyebrows and your eyelashes. You can brush your eyebrows to shape them or comb out your eyelashes. But I just got these disposable ones that come with 15 of them. Of course, you can get more use out of, you know, one of them. You don't got to use it and throw it away. You can use it a few times. All right. So the next thing I got, I'm very excited for this product. And for me to be excited about some makeup. I'm spending my girly, my girly ways, you know. But I got the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation. 
Like we all know Fenty. We all heard about Fenty, you know, Riri. And I never really had the urge to try the foundation, but since, you know, black owned and her shades are like spot on when it comes to matching, you know, your skin color. So I am in the shade 370. All right, but this is what it, this is what the pack looks like. Okay, so cute. And don't mind my nails, they're a little chip, okay? But I'm gonna open up the box so I can see what the bottle looks like because I don't even know what the bottle looked like. Okay, so yeah, it looks just like this. I don't know if y'all can see it. This is what it looks like. The next thing I got is this Fenty Beauty. Uh, it's supposed to be like blotting powder. Um, blotting powder is when you like your face gets oily over a period of time of wearing makeup. You can just pat your face down, but you know, a little mat mattify it a little bit. This is the box it comes in right here. Okay, this is cute. Okay, you open it up. Okay, so this, so this is what it looks like, y'all. Nothing spectacular. Just some powder. And I think the powder for this one, like the name, is supposed to be Invisimat. That's what it say, Invisimat. So it's supposed to, you know, go on your skin invisible. It's not going to leave no white cast on your face, you know, when you're trying to take pictures or have, like, lighting, your face is looking whiter than usual. That helps not have that effect. Um, the next thing I got is some mascara from Lancome. And it's supposed to be like a volume mascara, you know. I already have natural long eyelashes, so this helps just, you know, add a little dramatic look without being dramatic. If I don't want to wear eyelashes, so this is what it looks like. And it's in the shade 1, which is big, is the new black. All right, the last two things I got from Ulta, I got NYX Butter Gloss. I love NYX Butter Gloss. They are the bomb. But I, I'm going to try this new shade. This new shade is called Bit of Honey. And I also got a lip pencil in the shade Brown. I'm going to do my little lip combo. Coming soon. But this is what it looks like, y'all. This is the Butter Gloss. Y'all can't see it. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. There we go. And I got the pencil. I don't know if this is going to focus on the skinny thing, but oh, there we go. We're going to go to the TJ Maxx things. I got this beautiful eyeshadow palette, okay? And I just, it's just the me saying this, it just sounds so weird because I'm not usually into the makeup stuff. But when I seen this right here, baby, this just spoke out to me because it's different. And you know, Big T loves a little B, little B. Big T loves to be different, okay? I got this eyeshadow palette. It's um, Hershey's Milk Chocolate, and it is so cute. Like, look at the packaging, y'all. Look at the packaging. This is bomb. Like, it is so freaking cute. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It got all these nice, like, pretty colors. Like, oh, my God. Like, get into the colors. It is bomb. And it comes with a mirror as well. But yeah, I just got one eyeshadow palette. I don't really need much because I don't wear eyeshadow often or barely at all. This is just something I can use just to, you know, practice on myself. But it is so cute. Like, I love the packaging. Like, this is bomb. Okay, the next thing I got from TJ Maxx is this makeup bag. Bag. So I got me a new little makeup bag. You know, a little zebra from TJ Maxx. So freaking cute. Very spacious. You know, I don't need much because I don't have a lot of makeup. So I just got this perfect size to keep all my brushes and stuff in. So I think it was just the right amount of size. But so freaking cute. The next thing, the next items I got is from Wally World, Walmart, okay? um, I got some makeup remover wipes. I got this brand right here. It's supposed to be similar to the Neutrogena brand, but it got the Equate, the Walmart brand. But I've used these before. And they work pretty good removing makeup. And I used them the other day, and they took 
all my makeup off so i feel like this is perfect it leaves your skin feeling very soft and it gets all the extra build up before you wash your face at night so yeah these come in handy um i also got a highlighter and a blush um i used this highlighter a long time ago this highlighter is from the brand wet and wild um it's their mega glow highlighting powder and i got the shade precious petals which is 31 i mean 321b this is what it looks like right here but yeah i used to use this brand a long time ago and the highlighting is top tier like it's so pigmented it goes on so pretty like oh my god it's i love this so I, i'm not new i'm not new to this i know what this is okay mm -hmm. get at me but what i am new is i'm new to blush i never used blush before so hopefully i don't look crazy putting it on but i just got this shade it's in mellow wine it's in this shade i felt like this shade matches my skin perfect the other ones that they have was a little bit too pinkish in my opinion i feel like this will match my skin perfectly in a way because you know i don't really need no pink cheeks okay but hopefully i don't look like a fool wearing blush but you know practice makes perfect okay all right, and the last item that I got, I'm so excited. I got this item from Burlington. Um, got me a little makeup vanity mirror, y'all. A little portable mirror. Okay, um, it opens up, it, and it also got lights. You know, it got the little LED lights. And it got the little magnifying. Um, 2X, 3X, and 1X magnification and yeah i did have one of these before from amazon a long time ago but i gave it to my sister and since me trying to be back into my makeup my makeup bag you know i gotta get another one i had one of these before and they work perfectly fine i don't want anything huge something small you know start off with but yeah i just hope i just hope it works okay but that is all i have for this video okay i just hope you guys enjoyed this little video of my new little journey i'm on but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and push that bell button so whenever i post you'll be notified right on spot okay your girls on the come up okay i got makeup videos coming vlogs and everything like that but so stay tuned but i see you guys in the next video thanks for watching Bye.